Yeah, this is market conscious again. I'd like to address a little issue. Re the entertainment zone and the dance hall thing again on the next side of it. I am trying to wonder if our government is not being brainwashed by either some foreign source, some other source, some other members of some different society who is trying to suppress the Jamaica music. Because we're global, we must not have it anymore. This argument about entertainment zone, what, are, what a man is going to try to tell you that if you want some entertainment in Mount Salem, you must go down to on a catching hall. That can't write. A man must be free to go wherever he wants for what he wants in his own town and space. Or you don't have any church zone. Or you don't have any school zone. School must be everywhere for educate people. Church must be everywhere to inspire people. We can't talk about entertainment zone of places. The dance hall is a part of the culture and we need to maintain that culture wherever it is. The problem that the government is having, sometimes is not even the nice you know, is because they don't have the ability to control what is coming out of that noise. Some kind of music I hear I come out of some dance hall, of course you don't want it locked down for that because I, I live near a church and I used to wake up every Sunday morning and enjoy the service. Enjoy the people them singing joy. It's loud in a steel and coming through, but them singing nice and pretty and I'm enjoying it. There come a time when I hear a lady now take up the singing through the steel and she's singing half key and or half tone. She's actually singing harmony instead of melody. And it becomes disturbing and distorting and I feel like call the police and ask them to lock it off. It's a, it's a similar thing with the dance hall. A man used to live near me, half the hill about maybe a mile away from me. And I could have listened to the man play some good tunes on a Sunday afternoon. And I enjoyed sitting down on my veranda, enjoyed the music what the man play, even though it's from a distance, it's not disturbing me. Because what the man is playing is something palatable to the ear. Yet I drive up at a stoplight and a man drive up and park right beside me at the stoplight. And the tune, the music will come out of the man carrying me up a wine on the window. Then the same thing, man, and a zone we need. We need control of what is the contents of the thing. If a man look at a thing like him, dead yard now. Dead yard is a part of the culture. Part of the roots, part of the culture. Somebody die. A one time people dead, you know? So people die one time. And you can't get the opportunity to keep your own dead yard. They might tell you, say, you're going to have to get permit and license if you keep dead yard in our community. Then a culture that. But we have suppressed the culture. We can't go keep dead yard and we have to get license, we have to get permit. And you soon you say you have to go move the dead yard to an entertainment zone. So nobody now go to an entertainment place. Who want to leave Mount Salem for go down downtown for your, for your party? Why you have to take taxi? Why? You can put on your slippers and go out there and enjoy some little music while play next door. What we need is control of the contents of the music and control of the vol volume in a everywhere where everybody lives. If you keep a party, invite your neighbor. Because guess what? If you don't invite them, it will look like it disturb them. What the government needs to start though, is balance the music that is coming out of the dance hall. Certain music must not be sung. Certain things, you know, see what the dance hall culture take up right now. We take up a thing, it talk about gun, it talk about sex and nastiness. And people dance by your head and spin over. And then you blame the whole music fraternity and the good start suffer for the bad. Mr. Government, get your act together. Because if you're going to put in entertainment zone, you need to put in church zone. You need to put in, most importantly, Chinese shop zone. Because a Chinese shop is in your ear without no zone on every street. Five and six shop on every street. And nobody no need no control because a man wants a machine eagle and can run go out of the street and buy it. A man will tell you boy you have to go downtown and go buy nothing. Nobody no go downtown and go buy nothing again. But you have to do that with entertainment. You know, see, it's a backward move. We don't want no entertainment zone. We want you, the government, to call some of you who understand the thing, to be your advisor. Not some of them people who don't know nothing about music and entertainment to advise you. That is where the problem is. Wrong advice to the people in the government. We don't need no entertainment zone. We need entertainment everywhere with balance, control and volume.
and the type of music coming out of the dance hall or out of the speaker boxes, that is what we need to pay attention to. We suppose you can listen to some music coming from your neighbor next door. A man next to you so may I play some radio on Sunday, some Ernest Smith Sunday morning. On a Sunday morning sidewalk, we look forward to hear those music on a Sunday. Sunday gonna you jump on a mini but Those are music, man. Right now, when the music I come out of the speaker, the man, and that's why it has disturbed the people, and the people them complain. Two are supposed to come to Jamaica and you advertise Jamaica that when you go to Jamaica, dance is a part of the music industry. So I'm on booking ticket for come to Jamaica and know so when you come to Jamaica and want to go over there so to a dance hall. Too much things fence up on the straight line and all this is doing is suppressing the culture. If you are not careful and suppressing music, nobody else will want to become an artist. Nobody else will want to go anywhere because I guess so your music not playing anywhere. No dance now keep you now go hear your song a play, so where you want to be no artist. Shows locked down already, no show, two shows in Jamaica, Rebel Salute and Reggae Sunfest for the time being. I don't know if Tony Rebel can continue to keep it for you long if you not got some money like some people. GT Taylor Extravaganza, GT actually have a close on film show and keep it in the style of a party this year because people now sponsor the thing. We can't deal with the thing that way. We have to find the way to entertain ourselves at our speed, at our pace, and in our time. Don't tell me about no entertainment, so that needs to scrap. Bless.